I mean, it kind of sounds like a Volkswagen. What's up guys? So today we're gonna go check out a Samba bus that hasn't run for a very long time. I don't know when the last time it was running. It's not a real Samba bus. It's sort of almost a replica, uh, but it's parked up close to here. So we're gonna get some tools together and take a ride over there and check it out. Let's check out what we got for tools that we're gonna bring. Since we're going there by bike, not a whole lot of room. So we got our backpack, Engine book, sockets, of course the GoPro, mic, spark plug sockets, couple screwdrivers, snips, you know, pliers, hammer, multimeter, and of course the camera. And a big bag full of zip ties, don't forget the zip ties. So that's all what we're going to bring, let's start to head over. sense for 15 minutes so you just rent a bike and ride to the place. Barking is at a premium here. that's better than the last video and also to get the combi going let's see if we can do it pretty much all uphill to get there oh it's so hot all right so we're just getting here now let's Hopefully it's here if we need it again. Let's go take a look and see what we got. It's pretty scuzzy looking. Super scuzzy looking. Check out those windows. Just like a layer of schmutz. This bus has a bit of a story. You see, a friend of mine bought it a few months ago in order to send it out of Brazil. However, things didn't quite work out and he got in a bit of a situation with the guy who was supposed to export it for him. I gave my buddy a hand with saving the bus as we thought that the exporter might disappear with it. And so now it's sitting in a parking lot in my neighborhood. My buddy is interested in doing a bit of a restoration on the bus and he agreed to let me get it going for a final drive before we brought it in to be completely torn apart and restored. So can we get running? Let's see. It only has 2,000 kilometers. Holy, how did it stick? get so rough after just 2,000 kilometers? It's a little rough, 
little rough, not too bad though. So I left my backpack in there and now I can't open the door. <laughs> just give her one of these. That'll do. And then you just kind of do this. Yeah, I don't think so. Can't reach in. Fuck sakes. To go to the other side and All right, now we got it. This thing is so gloriously rough, I love it. <laughs> of course, you got your windows up top. Check that out. Sand the windows. Looking pretty scuzzy. It's hot as hell in here, man. Like an oven. Looks like we've got some oil here too. Check this out. I mean, it must have ran recently. Like, it has oil, you know? Probably leaks like a bastard, but that's okay. Interesting. Let's check out the engine. See, I guess the first thing is to see if it's actually going to turn over. And then if it does, we can go from there, really. Let's take a look. Oh, fuel filter is still there. Look at that. Belt still on it. Carburetor springs are Oh, no, that's just a old spring. That's okay, then. Oh yeah, look at that. Beauty. Distributor, I still got one of those. Cool, oh, it's okay. So let's check if there's oil. Is there oil? Hmm, did you see, can you see that? So yes, there's oil. And it doesn't even look that shitty. This thing might actually start. I'm missing one of these though. The battery. We'll need a battery. We definitely need a battery. And we definitely need to check if it will turn over. So let's do that. So I got this dirty old tarp here that's on the ground. It's all full of water. We got our backpack on the top of there, of course. Fuck it. That's okay. We'll get our sword out. Let's take a look. Where's that? And wrench. Okay, so we got our wrench. Let's get her turned over. Doesn't even look that bad. Oh, I hope this is big enough. Oh, just. That's big enough. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It turns over easy. This might be easier than we thought. Look at that. Thing. Just turns over no problem. Maybe we just need a battery then. I wonder if that gas line, if that fuel line is connected. That could be a problem. We're not, this end's not connected. Ooh, this end's not connected. That one must go back to the tank that we hold. Ah, oh, wait, wait a minute now. It's just, can you see that there we got our line that's just been cut in half for some reason. And there's your pump going up to your carb. So, I mean, that looks all good. This seems to be connected. I mean, it might be connected to the tank. I don't really know. The next question is, is this fucking thing connected to the tank? I can't quite see. Hard to see. Last thing we need to look at is the wires. I don't think this thing has a key. Let's go look if it has a key. Did I mention it's hot out here? All right, let's check her out in here now. Let's see what do we see. Look at that mess of wires. That looks like a trouble-free kind of thing. Let's, look at that. That's a new relay though. I wonder where the ignition is. So here it is. Oh, I think I might die of heat stroke in here. Holy, so that would be our ignition. Not sure if she's still hooked up though, but we got a screwdriver, so we might be doing a fucking screwdriver job to get that thing to spin. And we'll go from there. This thing is just crusty in here. Holy, got a, oh, just a interesting smell as well. I wonder if this door will open for us here. So let's just, Screwdriver. Okay, now we got a ray one. Let's fucking get her in there and see if she'll spin. No way. So we'll have to just take this apart. And we'll have to trace these. I mean, since the wires are all painted gray, it makes it much easier to figure it out, really. It's the gray one. The gray one is the problem. Let's just check if we have a battery connection. That even exists. If there's a place to put them in, then we'll fucking go buy one, I guess. We get some gas. Let's see if there's a fuel neck thing here. Look at that. Alright. 
So that doesn't seem too bad, Dan. It even has a cap. Look at that, and the cap might even not be that old. Wow. Oh, we got a ground. How about the other one? Uh, hmm. That looks like a connection, kind of. What else do we got here? Just a tail light wiring. Okay, but this looks pretty promising. Stick an end on here. And stick an end on here, or maybe just buy a new one. Get a battery. And then we can start making fire. Alright. So we gotta go to the auto parts store now. Holy crap, man. She's hot, bud. So we got a battery, now we're heading back to go put it in. And a couple alligator clamps to, you know, reattach it good. So, let's head back. Why did I walk all that way when I could just be on the bike? And here I am, hopping up the street with the damn battery. Just put in the basket on the bike. Look at that thing. Freaking like an electric bike. But not. Look at this thing just sitting here. Just glorious, this thing. Just the best. Look at that. Na subida você me pega na descida, não se acerta. That's what that is. Oh, and look at that, they got prosperity. This thing is prosperous, I'll tell you that much. So I got like no room to work back here pretty much. And this nasty blanket is all wet and nasty. So we're gonna try and push this thing forward a bit. I just wanna took off the e-brake. There it go. There she goes. Okay, let's get this pattern on the rocks here. Alright, so our plan here is to just get our cable and we'll just clip her on like this. And I mean, what more could you want? I think we'll just kind of precariously wedge the battery in right about there. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Then, get this old nasty old negative cable get a clip here we go and uh oh i think i may need two hands to do this hey, look at that beauty job that's just great all right now we just gotta hook up that positive battery hooked up here positive negative very professional but the next thing is going to be to get up in the front and see if we can get that ignition to work be nice to see where that starter relay is I don't have uh, like tons of experience working on these engines to be honest with you guys so kind of learning as I go here but uh, we'll see take a look under here and see where that starter relay is I guess sure would be nice to have something to wait on because the ground's all wet so we're gonna have to go talk to this guy here and see if he can give us a blanket maybe he'll give us a blanket Oh look, he's painting. Look at that. A little paint job on the car over here. A little garage job. Tudo bem. Você tem um carpete, alguma coisa que eu posso jogar no chão para deitar? Ah, é, melhor. Obrigado. Alright, let's go up and shake the road first, eh? That's luxury. Hey, look, and there's the, there's the starter. Got a few wires coming back off her. Let's see if that's if that's kind of tight. Or, oh yeah, look at that. That's right. Attached. Look, they even used a hose clamp. I mean, what else could you ask for? So this fuel line right here, I think, looks like it's attached. 
fucking stinks like paint down here now that I got painted. Ooh. Well, if you look at this, I just gave it a screwdriver a little wiggle and listen to that, we actually got power. She's something's happening there. So let's go a little more and see. Uh, just can't get it to turn anymore, but you hear that ticking. So that's a start. So we're gonna take one more look under here before I go. Pretty much out of time for today. Let's give her a shot here and see if we can stick this thing at an angle so you guys can see what the fuck we're doing here. Oh, Jay, it's hot. So what we're gonna do here, make a little connection across this solenoid and see what we have to get anything here, basically. Oh, oh, oh that, that was something. Maybe just having a hard time making a good connection. This might automatically. Oh, there she goes. You hear that? Ooh, that's not good though. So that would be your starter motor turning with nothing else turning. So that's not good. I mean, it kind of sounds like a Volkswagen. Now that that happened, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Uh, I don't really have any time left to screw around anymore, so I guess we'll come back tomorrow. So if you saw something that I missed, just put it in the comments. Leave a comment and I'll take a look because I mean, I'm sure there's tons of stuff that I'm missing here, but leave a comment and uh, you know, let me know, let me know what you think. See you guys tomorrow and uh, that's it. To hold these doors open, it's simply a matter of using one door to hold the other door. And then when you're finished, you just let her go. See you tomorrow, combi. So that's it for today. Unfortunately, we couldn't get her to go, but we'll be back here tomorrow and give it another shot. Uh, I would like to just keep going with this thing and get it running. Really want to get it running, but man, I just don't have the time today. So tomorrow it is. Oh, my bike is gone. Damn. Have to get another one. Ugh.